But in hell, even there's even um results saying that thirty percent of men raising children that are not theirs unknown. Can you imagine that? That's why that's why um Laura was so popular. Lord, you yeah. are the father. This is man number nine. This is where we live in, man. Hey, hey, the scripture says, Oh, adulterous generation. Right? What's up, bro? Um, uh huh? Where did, where did, um, yeah, that, that, that's what the apostles did. Okay. That's what Paul that's did. Cool. Yeah. I have questions. Yeah. I, I noticed, I don't know if you read or not, but I noticed it. Um, the people of Israelites, right? I noticed they, uh, some people, uh, I'll say in the back, that's yeah. where I was looking, uh, kind of, um, I mean, with kindness, kind of, um, speak on that y'all. What's the question, sir? I'm leading up to it. Okay. Okay. So because we we, we record. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. go. On. What's the question? What's okay. The question? I'll, I'll ask you. What's the question? Uh, do y'all uh, uh, do y'all do y'all y'all live when when y'all speak on the Bible? Uh, have you ever thought? Do y'all think? Do y'all think it kind of come hard and forceful? Say it again. Hard and forceful. Hard and forceful. Yeah. Like a little bit. Okay, um, okay, okay, you know okay, 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 okay. No, I got you, I got you, I got you. Okay. Can you give me um Isaiah yes, 58 and 1? Um, at the end of the day... Sorry about that. No, no, yeah. no, no, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. At the end of the day, we're not up here to be concerned with people's feelings, but this, this is what it's like. I'm not going to I'm not gonna personally attack someone because uh, I don't know them. All I'm going to do is say, based upon what the Lord said, what we should be doing. If they don't want to do it, then that's their business. But it's no different than me being raised by my grandma and, and, and by my mother's husband. And if I did something wrong, I got chastised. But see, a lot of children, they don't have that. That's why the majority of my kids are in the prison system. And they never had that discipline. The Lord said, spare the rod from your child. Spare the rod. He said, spare not the rod from your child. Yes, and then, you know, and then he would go in the right way. So it's no different than us just verbally telling our people. This is what the Lord said. Now, how you take it, that's on you, because at the end of the day, really, you just have a guilty conscience, so you want to come at us, but it's like, no, you can read the same book, and it says what you're doing ain't right. And I thought, that's how I look at it. Right here, people speak for that. I, said, I thought about that. I said, I said, I said they, they got an image about them, but because I look at you, I look at your speaking as being something in a broader sense, so I look at it, it, it might, it, so just about opinion, mm -hmm. in the spirit that they did, that might be at that at that time what's going on the way they have to do it. Well, Sometimes it has if it, it, it comes out like that. Let's feel that way. Let's 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 do it like this. Let's do it like this. Okay. Like like okay, like in church, right? Yes, sir. There are some people who really do believe, yeah. and then there are some people who are absolutely scheming the people. Yeah. It's scamming the people. I mean to say, right? They use the scheme to scamming yeah. the people. That's the same thing in any organization, whether it's Catholicism. Whether it's Islam, whether it's Christianity, whether it's uh, Hebrew Israelites, because you're still dealing with people. Yeah. But you got to realize who was who's preaching the real, the real doctrine, the true message. Because at the end of the day, it, it, it goes back to thus saith the Lord. Yeah. So the scripture says, "Do as they say, but not as they do." Now I hear what you're saying, but you're doing different. That's a hypocrite. Yeah. That's the difference. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I mean, before I could tell somebody else, "Yo, you got to start smoking cigarettes." But if I'm over here smoking cigarettes my damn self, right. who am I to tell that man to do right when I'm still doing wrong? Got to set the exactly. Got to set the example. And our people are hard headed anyway. So we, so we, it, I mean, we're not for to come up the mall. So we're like, hey, get right, right or you're just gonna perish. And it, cause that's how our people are anyway. You I know? think sometimes too, in my opinion, I think, and, you know, with your energy and stuff in the way y'all speak, with you know, if creator, bigger picture. And everybody here is everybody different. You're gonna you're gonna get hit with it the way you it's got to be you gotta get hit with it. Yeah. Because you learn something, everybody's getting different. So the, the creator is just big enough to know what's going on and can't let people know. I got you. So I'm saying I got you. Hey, you know, get, get, get with it. Hey, hit me with it. Listen to this real okay. quick. Okay. Listen to this. Yeah. This is Isaiah 58 and 1. This is Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry a lot and spare a lot. Cry aloud and spare not. He said, cry aloud and spare not. So spare your feelings. We don't care. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why that's why we talk like that. It's straightforward. 
you know. But I thought I wanted to ask y'all about that. No, no, I no, you good. You. But and but 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 you notice, you yeah. notice, you notice. Yes. I'm not using foul language towards nah, anyone. Nah. I'm not directly cursing anyone. Right. right. I'm generalizing. I'm generalizing what's being what's being read, but I'm using edification. And well, you know what I love about what I love about you is and your friends. Y'all know y'all scripture. I think that's so beautiful. That's powerful. You no, know? hold on, but we gotta finish this real quick. Go ahead. All right. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Go ahead. And show my people their transgression. And show my people their transgression. So the Lord said, listen, cry aloud and spare not their feelings. The Lord said, don't spare their feelings. And show them what they're doing wrong. And and that's and that's basically what it is. Now, now as 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 it was spoken, as the word was spoken, let's be honest. If you really read the scripture, the Messiah, who we call Yahweh Shai, there wasn't no pushover. He called them, he called the wicked scribe and Pharisee, he called them vipers. Mean, do you know what that meant back in the day compared to the words we use today? You call the holy man a serpent. Yeah. He wasn't no pushover. He flipped the table when they, he said, Turn up my father's house to a house of merchandise. Matter of fact, matter of fact, when they came to get him, right, when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane, right? Yes, Remember, Peter drew a sword and cut off Malchus' ear. So the disciples had swords when they was running with the Messiah. He wasn't no pushover. So, but so people get it misconstrued when they hear it today. No, read, read the scripture. See what that man was doing. He he, he won no pushover, right? Matter of fact, when a woman was wailing with her, when a woman was wailing after him and the disciples with his with her daughter, and the disciples kept saying, "Lord, this woman, she keep following after us." He said, "He said it's not me for me to give the bread or uh, to give the children of Israel bread to the dogs." That's what he said about that woman. And guess, guess what the woman said? But it's meat that the dog eat the crumbs that fall from a master's table. Man, the Lord wasn't no pushover, man. People don't really read the Bible and understand. He was not a pushover. He was an austere man. He was an austere man right here. Matthew chapter 7, verse 28. And it came to pass when Yahweh Shai had ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine. For he taught them as one to have an authority, not as the scribes. Not as these pastors today, because we don't want your money. We just here to give the message. So we speak as people that have authority. And guess what? We didn't go to no, we didn't go to no, no theologian schools or nothing like that. It's all spiritual. Same thing with Paul. Paul was talking about Gamaliel, mm -hmm. right? But then when they were speaking in Acts, what Acts the second chapter, they said these men must be drunk because it's the ninth hour because they were speaking. Because they didn't see, they didn't see the disciples, they didn't see the apostles in their in their schools of um theology or whatever. Right. Or should I say the school of religion? I'm not gonna say theology of religion. Yeah, they didn't see them, but they know Paul. But Paul's a Pharisee of the Pharisee. Yeah. It's the same thing with, with, with the Messiah, Yahweh Shai. Right. They were like, What doctrine is this that he speak of? Because right. he wasn't taught the same thing they was taught. Right, right. That's the difference between us and the church. We're gonna go to what the scripture said yeah. and bring it out, just like that. So the Messiah was willing to speak authority. The Lord said, our people are hard-headed. Matter of fact, you give me Ezekiel, the third chapter. Yeah, our people are hard-headed, man. I mean, you mean to tell me our God, our God is going to bring us out of Egypt. He's going to split the waters. We're going to walk on dry land. As Pharaoh and his army chasing us, as we get across the water, he drowns them. And then we don't want to. We don't want to serve that power. We want to go back to Egypt while we crying in the wilderness, crying that you hungry. I give you manna from heaven, right? I I give you quails to eat. Yes, sir. You thirsty, Moses, tap that rock. Oh, you hit it. You won't see the land, but they still gonna drink. You don't want to serve that power. You get what I'm saying? Our people are hard headed, man. Go ahead, up. Ezekiel three and um three and four. And then this is like Ezekiel that. three and four. Not too many people of strange speech and of hard language, whose word thou can for can for us like it then. This is Ezekiel 3 and 4. And he said unto me, Son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel mm -hmm. and speak with my word unto them. And speak speak my word unto them. So we speak in what the Lord say unto our people. All right? Go ahead up. Verse 5. For thou art to not sent to a people of strange speech. He says, so we're not sent to a people the same of, of a strange speech. So they know what we're saying. They can hear us. Go ahead. In a hard language, but to the house of Israel. Right. So he said, I see you to the house of Israel. 
which would be the so-called legal Latinos and Native Americans, because we're the ones that fit the prophecies or the curses of the Lord's people. All right. When the Lord so when the Lord said he was going to send us into slavery again by ships, I mean by default, who is that? The Lord said, You shall be sold to your enemy, and no man shall save thee. Ever since we've been quote unquote free, nobody on earth has defended us or false or no one. Everybody got rich off of, but 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 that go to show you how the Lord will chastise his children compared to how we would. The Lord, the, hold on, I'm not the Lord ain't taking no PlayStation. The Lord not putting you on no timeout, He not taking your allowance. The Lord gonna see you a famine, yeah. a plague. Oh, He'll put you in the bond. You see what I'm saying? So we so the same way his actions, we are gonna speak that same way. We are like, listen, this is what he did to us. We telling you get it right before, before before he come back. It's like this. Hey, y'all better clean up that room for Papa get home. You know what's gonna happen if you don't. You better repent and get right before the Lord come back. Cause that's it. That's your life. You get what I'm saying? Straight up. Hey, I mean, the scripture even says it. By the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We know what's to come. We just trying to warn them. Hey, if they don't get right, that's on them. You can't help that. Because, like, like that's the balance of the Lord. That, that's a separation. In order for somebody to win, there has to be a loser. So in order for somebody to be wicked, somebody got to be the righteous. A everybody can't be the same. Everybody's not equal. That's what makes it. That's what set us all apart. You know, like this revelation is good. I, I don't know what it really means. It does make a lot of stuff. You know, it's like almost a second round of people. Like if you get this, some of you got behind. Then you get a second chance. You know, maybe the ones that did right and practice, but still got enough love to leave behind. They hear, they hear, they hear again today. Go ahead, Officer. Ezekiel three, five. Uh, this is Ezekiel three and five. For there are not sick a people of a strange speech and of a hard language but to the house of Israel, right? Verse 6, not to many people of a strange speech and of a hard language whose word thou canst not understand. Surely had I sent thee to them, they would have hearkened unto me. Right, so the Lord said, surely I sent them unto you, but they would have hearkened unto me. So the Lord is like, listen, you know they didn't listen to what I had to say, but I'm still going to send you unto them. If that's not mercy, then what is? You want to listen to him, but he's still going to send us to you. And you know what? Honestly, man, it all goes back to the promise he made to Abraham. Okay. It has not, It has nothing to do with us per se. The Lord made a covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob okay. that your seed will inherit the land of milk and honey. Uh -huh. But if they don't keep my commandment, these curses will befall them. They got the state of our people where well, those curses did befall them. You understand yes, what I'm saying, right? Yes, I do. Okay, so so now we tell them, listen here, this is not our rest. This this is a, this will this will destroy you with a sword destruction. Yeah. To come that way, when the Lord said, "Come out of her, my people," the Lord wasn't saying you get you a flight and go to Jamaica, you go to South Africa, or you go somewhere across the world. No judgment coming to the whole earth anyway. And besides, no man, no, besides, no man can contain his own spirit. So if the Lord want to take you, He'll take you while you're in your sleep. So you can't run away from judgment. Period. No, so so so, 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 we be the so so that's oh, what so so that's why we had to warn our people, man. Okay, they come back to the Lord. Go ahead, up. Verse seven, Ezekiel three and seven. But the house of Israel will not will not hearken to me. They wouldn't listen. That's that's why we talk to what we do to our people. They wouldn't listen to him. <laughs> Go ahead, up. But they will not hearken to me. For all the house of Israel are acute infinite and hard hearted. Right, so the Lord said the whole house of Israel is cupidant and hard-hearted. Cupidant mean like they're foolish. Yeah. Now, hard-hearted, whenever you read, you know, a heart in the Bible is talking about your mind, yeah. right? So they're hard-headed. They're hard-headed. That's why we talk to our people the way we do. Like I said, it, it's not to be derogatory. It's just to be 100% truthful. This ain't what it is, and you know it's not. And that's why we are here. You know? All right.